What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Marcus. Today, we're paying off this vehicle. All right? I'm paying the rest of it off. No more. Clearing up my personal credit, and then we're going to get my van under my business credit. All right? We call this the triple threat. All right? The triple threat is for my business van that I'm getting for my Airbnb experience. So I, it's under my business name. So it's not gonna show up on, on my personal credit. All right, number two, I'm using it for Airbnb experience for my Nipsey Hustle tour. Number three is that um, I'm gonna also rent it out on Toro, all right? I'm gonna rent this bad boy out on Toro. It rents for over $100 every time so i at least get like over 100 to 130 depending on the day what's going on so i'm gonna rent it out on tour when i'm not using it for airbnb number four all right tax write-off this is another write-off under my business for this vehicle so i'm gonna use that under my tax uh cpa guy he got it all under control so i'm gonna do that for the tax purposes as well so it's all gravy I'm about to pay the rest of this off got the cheddar right here and then i'm gonna go check out the van sign the paperwork and be picking up that van so it's big moves good moves much needed moves with this van all right i'll tell you about it later but much needed for this van with the tour um too expensive trying to rent different cars and half the time i mean vans half the time you can't even rent it and the price went up since everything's opening up i used to get the van for like a hundred dollars or if that like a hundred when i was renting it for the tour now they want 230 to 300 dollars for the same van it's crazy expensive so that's not even worth it anymore for me to do that it's worth it for me to invest and get this van under my business so that's what we're doing all right, but first things first, let's pay off the car that we're in right now. I got this car um, five years ago, actually six years ago. All right, I still got the paperwork right here. Six years ago, just under 20,000 I paid for this. I got the paperwork right here. I got the receipts, all right, still to this day. 528.15 is when I got this car. Today is 521. 2021 all right so six years it took me to pay this car off can't wait to get it off my credit my credit's about to shoot up even more now and then i have some student loans a little bit of student loans and then i'm debt free debt free that's what we're working towards debt free all right on the personal side so let's go ahead and let's do it you see pull out the hundreds 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 Oh, so I feel so good paying these fools off. I ain't messing with them anymore. Me and Orange County Credit Union, we ain't friends no more. I'll tell you about that later. I tried to get business credit for this van earlier this week, and they told me no. I don't know what kind of loopholes or what they got going on. Maybe they blocked it since whatever happened last year, but I don't know if they have stricter restrictions, but they didn't give me the details on why they said no, and I'm going to need those details and, uh, and check up on it because... I don't appreciate them telling me no. That's fine. You ain't getting no more of my business. And I'm closing y'all out with this car. So no more interest for you. Closing this out. And we ain't friends no more. We cannot do business. All right. If we can't do no business credit, I don't have no use for you. Peace. All right. So let's go in here. Pay these people off. And let's keep it moving. Let's go check out the van. All right. Let's go. Orange County Credit Union. No more. Cut. Let's go pay them all. Yes, sir. Look at it. See that zero? Dunzo. Dunzo. Yes. No more money for you. No more money for you. No more money for them. That's it. No more interest. No more nothing. Especially if they can't help me out. They can't help me out with this business credit. I can't help you out with none of, none of these more payments. No more interest on this vehicle I got right now. Thank you. But our relationship is over. All right. 
I'm moving on from them. They can't help me. I can't help them either. It's a wrap. Now let's go get this van, baby. Oh, this is the one that is, uh, I'm buying a, a box from Oh, this is this is also. Yeah, this is uh, solid. So see, I have only one Chevy. No more. Oh, more? Yeah, that's all. 2019. Everything. Oh, I don't have nothing. This is a uh, handicap. Oh. Uh, passenger, only three passenger meters. And that's all? So, we just get 42 uh, metric. But probably the dealer is going to buy those, the Mercedes dealer. I'm going to fix, fix the bumper here? Yeah. Okay, one. So this is the spare tire? Yeah. It's missing this part. So yeah. does the seat roll here? The going in the seat belt for this seat. Oh, We're going to repair that. Yeah. It's fixed. I mean, just it's missing. Right here. Yeah. And this is the whip, y'all. Yeah. Missing this part? Yeah. Okay. Here. It's missing this plastic. Oh, yeah. And the plastic right here is going here. Uh -huh. Okay. And then it's missing uh, this this plastic right here. It's almost going down that way. It's out. Yeah. You have to put it back. And then it's missing this one over there. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta fix that first. Antenna is not working. Oh, this is right here. This is going here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, this is, eleven. Uh, no, this is fifteen footer. I mean, this is fifteen passenger. Fifteen. Oh yeah. That's good. Yeah, they're real good. Yeah. You're lucky. Yeah. I got a customer on and another one we get from yesterday. Yeah. Nice van, man. Yeah, real nice. Oh yeah. Oh, it's just an easy guy too. Oh yeah. And also this one came Perfect. With this one. No more just in time with this set. Yeah. And also here, close that. That's what I need to repair first. It's missing the uh, jack and tool. No, but it's missing there. It's empty. So it's first tire and tool. And the antenna. Yeah. The antenna. Alright. So those things we have to take care of. Yeah. So anything else is ready. Turn the design, small design. Oh and now also this one. This is just a cover here. This is cover or something. Yeah, it's cover. Yeah, you see this part. Always. Oh. That's all. All right. So, so if you want, come tomorrow, pick it up tomorrow. Yeah. Or if you want to take it, bring it later. Whatever it is. Tomorrow. Well, that's the same thing. All right. So that's that. I signed the paperwork. Paperwork is signed. Gave them my down payment of three thousand dollars. Had to do a down payment because. Uh, I'm doing commercial so anyway that's done all right I'll be back here tomorrow you saw the things they got to fix in there they got to fix some thing on the bumper on the side they got to fix the, the seat belt buckles and all that stuff and the antenna so hopefully they have everything done tomorrow uh, I'm picking it up tomorrow anyway if they don't have everything done I'll have to come back Monday or Tuesday and have them finish it off but I just wanted to get it wrapped up and get the paperwork done because they don't have any more vans. People were trying to purchase the van. Somebody tried to purchase this van and it was on hold. So ain't no time to be wasting. They don't have any more vans. These passenger vans are in high commodity and they can't even get any more. They sold out. I bought the last one. All right. So these things are flying out the shelves. They don't even know where they didn't even have to get any more. And it's crazy. So that's why I had to get over here, get my paperwork in, get my money work, get my money in, and then it's mine. Like nobody can jack me. So that was my main focus, not getting jacked. Cause people do be getting jacked. If you don't show up, if you don't wait, it's like, hey, you ain't got no paperwork in. I got approved, but I didn't sign nothing and no paperwork in. So ain't no telling what they shady business they can do. Somebody can come in here with some cash and just swoop you out. So. I didn't want that to happen, so got down here, got my paperwork in. It's under my business name, LLC, so we good. There's nothing to show up on my personal. That is the main key. I'm not getting any more cars under my personal 
um, credit. All right, so that's how I want to do it. You can do it however you want to do it, but I'm doing it my way under my business. All right, I don't want nothing showing up under my credit. So this van is gonna be on Turo too. So only five days I need to rent this on Turo to make this car payment. All right, only five days out of the month. I'm gonna be doing more than five days. Trust me uh, with this van. So this is a great thing. Finally, don't have to deal with uh, uh, not having enough space. This is a 15 seater actually. So I got even more space. All right. No more people talking about my car's too small and they don't want to go on a tour, stuff like that. So I got enough room for all the people double up, put it on Toro. I'm going to be making guap now. So we good. I'm happy. Nice business move here. And I got my second Toro car now. All right. Got the little smart car. Now I got a big van. And the next car is going to be a regular car. Not a regular car, but it's going to be uh, at least four seats. All right. So that's the next plan. But I'm, again, I'm not doing anything unless it's under my business name. So I'm going to be searching for people that's doing, uh, letting me do it under my business name. If you ain't letting me do it under my business name, you cannot help me. All right. Because I'm not doing it under my personal. It's not going down like that. All right. So. We'll be back tomorrow. Video not over. See you on the next day. Peace. Sent off the car earlier today. Now picked up the whip. The van. The new whip. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. No more renting vans. Got 15 seats in this bad boy. Ready to book it out. Yes, yeah, sir. We in there now. No more rents. No more rents. No more rent now. We Gucci. So what's up? I'm in the new whip. New whip whipping. New whip whipping. Yeah. So got the van. They fixed everything you saw in the video the, the other day, the previous day. So all of those little things, they were fixed. Everything is fine. It runs well. Um, it's big, as you can see. All the seats back there. So yeah, the quadruple threat right here, which is all the benefits that come with this car, all right? It's a tax write-off. Tell my CPA, he's gonna handle it. This is over 9,000 pounds. It's a 15-seater. This is like a bus right here. So uh, it's a big write-off. I can write it off for the whole year. I can just depreciate it over a couple years. It don't matter. However he says is the best way to do it, that's the way we don't do it on a tax benefit. All right? So I already got that going for me as well. Other than that, I'm going to put it on Toro, rent it out at least five days during the month, and I'll have my money for the payment. The payment is $560. All right, so I ain't even tripping on that. And then for my tour, no more problems. Written vans, over expensive. I got a tour next week. That's why it was very serious I got a car. I was already researching and looking, but it just put a fire under me to get it done quicker. And I got it done. Because next week, next Saturday, I got a group of 10. I got I got the seats now. Don't even trip. Uh, so, so I definitely needed it for that. And when I was doing the research to try to find something to rent, these things are in high demand. And there's not many of them. I looked on Turo too. There's only like four or five of them out there. So I'm going to be banking with this. This is over a $100 rent for sure. Maybe 130 I got 15 seats. So that is also great as well. Um, if I would have rented it, it would have cost me like $300 to rent this. Uh, for the tour next week that would have been half of my profit for the tour so I was not trying to do that like when I was getting the vans before the before everything started opening up it was a good deal it was fine like $80 to $100 i am making way more than that on that tour so it wasn't a big deal to chop some of the profit off but it got way too expensive so I had to step my game up and get a big van for myself and I got one under my business credit so Thank the Lord, my business credit is gravy. Everything worked out, nothing on my personal. That's the only way I'm doing car deals is under my business and my LLC, all right? 
So if they ain't nobody helping me out with that, then I'm not running with them. The only people that's gonna help me out and put it under their business, because it's for my business, all right? And it's not for nothing else, and I'm not doing no more personal. I told myself I'm not, and I'm gonna stick to that. So, if it's not a cash deal or it's not on business, that's it. Um, yeah, so that's it for this video. We're gonna shoot some photos, do some more, do some more clips, show y'all around, and make sure you know everything's working that the guy did fix. And as soon as we get back over to where the crib is at, we'll stop and do that. All right, stay tuned. Like, comment, follow. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you're trying to get in this Airbnb Turo business yourself. I advise you should. You see me out here doing it, man. You can make a lot of money. You can make some good money and free up yourself from that 95. All right. I'll see you when we stop. Here it is. Big boy van. Big boy van. Yes, sir. Most of them don't come with this little step. Yes, sir. Hop on in. Ready for the tour. Hop on in. Okay. Transit 350. What's up? You ain't know a lot. Oh, they tripping. Yep, here it is. Your business vehicle. All right. Commercial vehicles. That's all I'm messing with. You see it? And let me show you my LLC. They got my LLC on here. You see it? LLC. All right, it's not under my personal. That's it, that's all I'm dealing with. People that's gonna do business, commercial, whatever. Let me put it under my business name and we got a deal.